Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review on the ZTTY Zeng 2 Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so today we have the ZTTY Zeng Tube Boxing Gloves. We'll do a close-up weigh-in and review on. These are a Chinese branded boxing glove that I've gotten quite a bit of requests to do a review on. And I've had them for a couple of weeks, have used them for the mitts and the heavy bag. Kind of kind of get a good idea of how these perform. Um, when you go on Amazon, you can choose from a, a various uh, multitude of different colors. I think they have 15 different colors to choose from. Uh, but you can see I got the metallic blue, silver, and white. Uh, 16 ounce Velcro. It says high quality, made in China. Stitching is decent. There's some areas here that you can see the threading is starting to kind of pop through. Um, it is a synthetic leather material, but I think they do a pretty decent job with the actual material that they use. You can see that there's been some improvements from earlier iterations of some cheaper gloves where the, the material feels real thin, like the Everlast um, elite pro style gloves or their entry level ones where it feels really thin and it'll rip at any moment and these right here should last a little bit longer than those um, so you can see here it has that half velcro cuff or velcro strap excuse me it says zeng 2 right there zeng 2 written vertically on the back of the glove um, the split thumb and the split palm you do have a smaller grip bar which that was a little bit bigger ventilated holes on the palm and you can see the material could be done better as far as being tucked into the finger compartment. So let's go ahead and put these on the scale and see how much these weigh. Um, they're advertised at 16 ounces, so hopefully they'll be close to that as far as the weight goes. So the right glove is at 15.4, and the left glove is right at 14.7. So they're about and almost an ounce and a half underweight. So the, the weight's not as accurate as you'd like to see, but for training gloves and for the price you get these at, uh, that's not too big of a concern. So let's go ahead and do a review. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here. And today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the ZTTY Zeng2 boxing gloves. These gloves are a company that's based in China, made in China, obviously. Um, and I've gotten a, quite a few requests to do a review on this particular brand and glove. Um, this is an Amazon exclusive. Uh, Size-wise, I got mine in 16 ounce hook and loop. You can also get it in lace-up. Um, 15 different colors to choose from between both just regular solid colors as well as metallics. And size-wise, you can get anywhere between 6 to 16 ounces. So there's a wide range of colors, sizes to choose from. Um, it just depends on the color you get and if you get like a, the Velcro or the lace-up closure. Now, this is a full synthetic uh, leather glove um, but it looks really good and the synthetic they use on here is definitely a little bit, little bit more of a premium feel um, it reminds me of the phantom boxing gloves i did a review on a while back in terms of just the thickness and the feel of the synthetic material i know that companies that come with these synthetics are starting to really do better at uh, getting more durability built into the synthetic material so it's not like that khaki, thin feeling uh, synthetic that you find like in the Everlast uh, Pro Elite gloves that you can find like at the sporting goods store. So there's definitely a level of quality now in synthetics than there was before, uh, which is really nice. So you can see here design wise that this is a, I'd say a medium sized glove. It's not huge and it's not super compact. It's kind of right in the middle. Um, it does have a little bit of a short, shorter cuff. It's not a super long cuff that drops down onto your forearm. It says Zeng 2 in a kind of a silver script right here, vertically on the back of the glove. It also has kind of a mirrored silver uh, Velcro strap. That's a three and a half inch Velcro strap. It says Zeng 2 Fight Gear right there. Um, it does have the metallic blue rotating to the thumb. You have a metallic blue thumb. That's the same color as the back of the glove, as well as that same uh, mirror finish silver that they use on the back of the strap for the split thumb. Um, you can see the actual seam has kind of a lip on it. On the thumb right there uh, rotating to the palm side you have white piping and then you have a half velcro strap basically 16 ounces right here high quality zeng 2 made in china um, and 
on the palm you can see it does have a split palm between the white and the silver uh, a black attached thumb and ventilated holes on the palm um, as far as the wrist support goes you have about an eighth of an inch of a softer padding that kind of goes up right here and ends where the double stitching is at as well as on the other side which kind of comes up to right about here and it kind of just fades off it doesn't really have a very pronounced feel to it when it kind of fades off the padding on the palm goes uh, the back of the wrist has i would say about a half an inch of medium density padding it's not super soft and it doesn't feel super stiff like an eva foam um, the inside liner is a nice tricot foamy liner on the inside which is uh, pretty nice uh, there is some issues on the fingertip compartment which i'll discuss here in a minute when i slide my hand in here and then you have that synthetic material on the back of the wrist as well now quality wise these gloves are pretty good i'd say above average if i were to com compare it to other gloves i've seen i mean the stitching is done uh, pretty well as far as this the symmetry of the stitching so you have the double stitching throughout all the holes are punched out where the ventilated holes you could just see like right here some of the stitching is starting to fray. And then also the material has a little bit of excess right here on the fingertip compartment of this, uh, this PU synthetic leather. But the actual PU itself that they use has a nice really, really uh, kind of a brilliant shine to it, you can see there. So for those of you that really like the really shiny metallic looks, I think you guys will like this glove a lot because it's a little bit more showy, more flashy. You can even see kind of that mirror finish on the silver uh, is pretty bright so if you're going to use these outside just make sure that you don't blind anybody because if the sun hits that this definitely reflects quite a bit um, but the velcro strap is nice three and a half inch velcro strap the glove itself is a little bit top heavy you can see here it's really front loaded with the foam they do use a multi-layer foam which i do love a lot um, i'm just not a fan of injected molded foam because of how stiff and just how awkward feeling it is and it takes a long time to break in multi-layer foam to me is typically the way to go but you can see there um, it does have a little bit of top heaviness and then like I showed you guys earlier in the close-up uh, the glove weight is a little bit off um, the liner too on the inside when you slide your hand in here one thing I was no I was noticing is on the back of my fingers um, you can see you can feel the actual liner on the inside kind of wrinkle up a little bit so uh, I wish they cleaned that up so you don't feel like the liner bunches up on the back of your finger uh, when you slide your hand in there um, the edges look pretty good overall. You can see the seams are done pretty nicely. You know, the double stitching on the back of the cuff looks pretty good. You know, same thing with the thumb, where the thumb meets the index finger looks pretty good. It's just kind of the areas like that where you can see the little bit of fraying and the excess material as well as on the inside is probably the areas of opportunity that I would point out. You know, the piping on the cuff looks pretty good as well. Now, comfort of the gloves, sliding this in. Gloves are actually really comfortable. Um, the wrist support can definitely be improved just because I think they should add a little bit more material so that you feel like your, your wrist is locked in. Um, I'd say that it's right there in the middle as far as being broken in. It's not a super broken in glove, but it's not ultra stiff either, which I, I, I'm, I'm really happy to say that when you put your glove in some of these cheaper gloves, um, when you put your hand in some of these cheaper gloves, excuse me, um, that use a molded foam, they're super stiff. Um, and it, it just feels really uncomfortable. You get pain in your knuckles or you find like a really like uh, kind of a pain, you kind of have like a, a, a sore spot like on the, the fingertip or on your knuckle right here because of how your, your punches land because of how you can't really form a good fist with it with a cheaper glove. But with this, you can form a really nice fist. The thumb placement's really good. It doesn't jam. Um, the finger compartment is really nice and deep. Um, you do also have a piece of neoprene that you can really grip on. Um, so you can make a really great fist with this. So comfort is definitely there. I just wish there was a little bit of uh, less material on the inside that doesn't bunch up. Uh, protection and performance is, is great as well. So for a glove at this price point, which I'll get to here in a minute, I really love this multi-layer foam. I'd say that this is more on the medium to softer side. It's not a super stiff and hard glove. And you can see, I've, obviously I've used this for a couple, couple weeks now, but you can see that the foam is really nice nice flat punching surface it's not too round to where you feel like your your blows glance off the heavy bag or whatever your target is that you're hitting so really nice flat punching surface in that regard you get a good amount of crack um, and feel from this glove and if you guys watch my mid work video i really enjoyed using these on the mitts they, they did really uh, well on the mitts as well as on the heavy bag so performance is definitely there 
uh, for a glove at this price point. Now getting to price, uh, these particular gloves, it varies on size and design that you get. But this particular one I'm holding right here with $35, um, at that price point, these are going to be really hard to beat. I mean, you're not going to find, I think the Everlast Pro Style Elite gloves, the ones that you can get like at Dick's Sporting Goods or Walmart are about $35 or 40 bucks if I'm not mistaken. So they're pretty much the same price point and these to me are way better than those. So um, if you're looking for an entry level glove, you're, maybe if you're new to boxing and you're looking not to, to break the bank or blow your wallet out um, because you don't want to spend too much money on, a, on, on your first pair of gloves, I definitely think you should consider these. Um, I, I feel the fact that they have different sizes, different colors, and the price point isn't too bad. Uh, it uses multi-layer foam. It's actually a pretty good, pretty good glove for the price point. Um, just a couple issues with the quality, but outside of that, I mean, you can't really expect more from a glove that's $35. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these ETTY boxing gloves. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.